the rain was quite hard, but it seems to have let off a bit now. So, um, not sure how long uh, before the next rain comes, but uh, the dogs are in sheltering. Got some cats in the house here. Everybody's sheltering at the minute, and uh, we are just about waking up. Well, all my doggies are comfortable anyway in the torrential rain. I want to do something about the water running there. It's, the roof needs to come out a little bit more so I can fix that. Blown down there with that. Right, just preparing the food for the doggies and the cats. The dogs have uh, chicken, rice and uh, the dog food mix that's in the green sack that we bought. And the cats have cat nuggets and they have um, mackerel. So uh, that's what we're doing and um, it's very noisy. It is raining a lot. You can see the paddies are starting to flood out already. I, I expect we'll have a lot of frogs frogging later on when the rain stops. But uh, yeah, it's all action at the minute. Dogs have got their dinner anyway, that's good. Very good. It's a shame about all the water that we're not using. Unfortunately, the tanks are already full with the um, municipal water, so uh, yeah, we just have to let that overflow. And unfortunately, overflow it does, so we're a bit um, we're a bit flooded at the minute everywhere, as you can see. Oh, I've just taken the cat's food out. There was one sleeping here, so I've brought him some food. He's hungry, boy. So it's Easter Sunday evening, and I've um, done nothing really again today. It was very nice to um, have some cool weather. It's still cool now, actually, but um, just hung around in the house and uh, had a good old sleep in the afternoon. I was actually up late last night watching football so um, I say last night it was like the early hours of the morning so um, I was tired again today but anyway now we have come out um, I'm just waiting Joe's gone to see if she can get bananas for the pigs um, at the main pin market here uh, we usually get cheap bananas here and uh, then we're gonna go into town and eat something somewhere uh, we've got a couple of possibilities lined up not quite sure which we will ultimately decide upon but you will see very shortly so that's the crack Easter Sunday dinner out and then um, back to the farm it will be but first banana here she comes the banana lady hey we are in the city at um, Nongsim and uh, this is Shabu Nanyai uh, Shabu, big face, Shabu. So they've got a buffet, Shabu, and um, all sorts. So we're going to see in here. Well, it's very noisy here, but this is a buffet. You get your own hot pot, and then you just go and fetch what you want. Uh, we come quite late, I think. It seems to be well emptied the buffet but anyway we still find plenty to eat. There's a buffet and there's a an air conditioned room up there. This is air conditioned as well and then you've got the, the terrace out there as well. Pretty big place. Let's go out there. I'm gonna find some ice cream. I found some, so I've got two little bowls 
I'm a bit, a bit of an ice cream fiend, so I can eat as much ice cream as you can shake a stick at. This will do for a start. Okay, it's Easter Monday. Lunch time ish. Um, we're off to do home to buy a wheelbarrow. Get out to shovel our peak excrement center. So that's what we're doing now. I'll probably find something to eat. Watch out. Alright, here we are at do home. Jav's got a wheelbarrow. I didn't film that in the store, but uh, yeah, we tried a few different ones, but this one was cheap and cheerful. So uh, she can go home and shovel some shit. I'm walking around in my bare feet, and I've just spotted this character. And he's not a little. I would say about about that, <laughs> about that long. I'm not going near him, but yeah, yeah. I've got to be honest. That puts the puts the creeps up me a bit. Um, I do tend to walk around the house with bare feet at night, and um, the backlight wasn't switched on because the automatic one was uh, broke last night, so I need to change it and. Um, I have to walk out to switch the light on and uh, I was sort of traipsing carefully and I, I switched the light on, turned round and there was the scorpion just where I'd been walking past the the metal bar from the, yeah, the canopy which is down at the minute. So uh, yeah, whew, didn't like that. Anyway, it was a big in two about, a, I was trying to show you on the video, but it was about 10 to 12 centimetres long so it was... Uh, it was quite a big, I mean, we've had all sorts of sizes here. They, they seem to be a, a lot of them at this time of the year. Um, I do see them all through the year, but it, it seems to be more so now. And um, one of the dogs got stung last week with a little tiny one about that big, but um, then there was another big one. I was trying to get Kathy off it uh, as well, uh, not long ago. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. So you have to keep your wits about you when you go out there. Uh, in your bare stocking feet, otherwise you get a nasty sting. Kathy's found himself a turtle tortoise shell. Not sure what happened to the occupant, but um, come on, Kathy. Kintaro, <laughs> mm. Oh, very good. Tortoise. Very nice. This week I haven't really filmed much of us doing stuff out and about. It was a short week work-wise, but quite a busy week, so I didn't really get much time and I wasn't really feeling up to it. Um, but I wanted to do a little farm update, show you what's happening on the farm. I haven't done any sort of farm updates for a while, so uh, I think that's what I'm going to do today. First things first, I've just been cleaning out the doghouse, which was absolutely filthy. Um, I'm full of fluff. They seem to have pulled out half the fluff out of their mattress here. But um, I've sorted all that out, so that's on the on the fire now. Bought them another bench to lie on. They they like lying up on the bench, and Jampar likes to lie on the green chair. So we've got plenty of places for them to lie in there. Anyway, we move on right, over by the tunnel of love. Um, the electric. Seems to have fallen down here, or rather the the post that was holding the electric up has fallen down. I don't know whether that was the tractor that did that. Um, the field was ploughed the other day. So, um, whatever did it, I don't know, but the post was not in good nick. It's uh, lying down there at the minute. So I'm going to need to um, try and pull this up in some way, try and just get it over there out the way for the time being. As far as the Tunnel of Love is concerned, not a lot going on here. Um, obviously all the um, passion fruits have died back. Um, 
clean my pruning back and um, they'll get some um, they'll get some fertilizer and then uh, they will start going again here we have chickens living at the minute I'm not a big chicken person but that's what we've got and uh, I think we've got a money hen here in the basket um, but anyway they sort of live here perch up there and what have you our neighbour here by the tunnel of love used to be an absolute wild jungle here but they've dug out this massive pool well I say massive it's pretty big and they've built a um, very nice salar which will sit out over the water once well, once the rain season comes and it's filled with water but uh, yeah she's um, built a, a, a building over there as well and uh, done quite a lot of work so uh, she was growing trees on this side but not uh, really much came of them and it was getting a bit wild so anyway not much happening over here either as far as growing stuff is concerned as you can see the passion fruit our new shoots are coming out so um, yeah we will have passion fruit again from here the other passion fruit is very green over the other way but it's uh, it's mixed with a lot of other things so you can't tell what's what there but uh, there are still passion fruit coming and here is the farmer with her wheelbarrow. She's um, adding fertilizer to the rice field. Fertilizer being pig shit. The, um, the water in the pool is getting quite, well, it's dropped quite a bit since the, uh, the height that it got up to at the end of the last rainy season. Obviously we do fill add water from the well we've got this one running at the minute and the other one down there we run as well but um not not as much water as uh, as comes in the monsoon so uh, that will run even more down before the rains come so uh, we shall see over here it's uh mangoes mango mango mangoes <laughs> There's the chickens, Jow's chickens. I don't like chickens and I would rather we didn't have them, but, um, you know, not just my choice. Mangoes, pretty good. Um, bananas, more mangoes. We've got a lot of mango, different varieties. We have had some <laughs> bad luck. Go away, horrible cockerel. As for piggies, small piggies are about halfway, two months in, two months to go almost. Fat piggies, they are about a month away. They're three months in. And they tend to just lie here and eat and do not much else. Sleep, eat. They're too big and it's hot now. But they get washed, showered and whatever every day. Joe's cleaning out the pig's die. And this, like I say, is Manure that gets used all over the farm. Here in the farm we have fruit. There's jackfruit. We've got uh, a couple on that tree. One on that tree. We've got some more there next to the pigsty. So we've got quite a few jackfruit now. Got a lot of papayas, as you might have seen. Um, Custard apples here, not time for them yet. But we usually have a lot of those. As I say, the mangoes, um, we've got a lot of mangoes, but we did have a problem with this one, as I showed you in an earlier video. The one next to it is fine. This one is um, a large, giant mango, the, tr the actual fruit now, not the, um, not the, um, the tree itself is still quite small but um, it does have it does have fruit here we more 
This is the matching one with the one that's sick, so we should see how that goes. We've got star fruit in here. Let's see if I can get to them. It's all a bit wild at the minute. Jam's very busy with the um, with the pigs, of course. This, I think, is a pomelo tree, no fruit that I can see there. We've got a few pomelo trees as well. Um, normally, I would be very interested in pomelos, but I'm not allowed to eat them anymore because of my medication, So, uh, which is rather sad because I like them. Uh, here we've got galangal and things growing. Up here, our custard apples come in now. There you can see new ones come in there. They are... These trees are more shaded, so they will be first with the fruit. Um, not going to go too far in. We've got other fruit as well, lamut. And um, don't know what else. Here is another mango that's looking very nice. Uh, some nice fruit here. There are lots of mangoes. Lots and lots of mangoes. But it is all a bit wild. <laughs> Look at these mangoes. Yeah. Can't complain. As you see, it's a bit wild down there. There's grass growing in the middle there, long actual napier grass for um, feeding things, livestock and whatever. So they are there for a reason. This mango doesn't seem to have any fruit for some reason. Here is a combination of a mango tree there and passion fruit and something else, a flower or some sort, but it's all grown together, it's all a bit wild. Uh, the mango tree has mangoes, believe it or not, even though, even though it's all a bit, it's all a bit wild and overgrown. It does have mangoes, passion fruit, again, no passion fruit at the minute. I'm not sure when they will start coming, probably, uh, I, September or something, October, when the rainy season is uh, has been in full force and it's been getting a lot of rain. We do have a lot of aubergines, pea aubergines here as well. And then more mangoes. These mangoes are very nice. I do like this one, this variety here. We seem to have a red ant nest, or an old red ant nest, I should say. Uh, plenty of mangoes there. Mangoes here, this tree is full of mangoes. Full of mango mangoes. This tree is full of mangoes. We've got as I said, we've got a lot of mangoes really. Lots of varieties and some of the trees are doing really well. Just that one unfortunately that was sick. Uh, this is a different sort. This one, not sure about what sort of mangoes they are, but there's mangoes on that one. This mango is very interesting. It's quite a different sort of mango to the usual Thai mango. As you can see, it's here's one that's looking like it's getting ripe. Um, and then we've got these here. Got the mangoes again, and of course, these are the Mactan here. Yeah. So all is good there. Moving on, here are two cows. Now these cows are not ours, they are Jao's sisters. Um, but they are being kept here. They have uh, some more cows over at their place and they didn't have enough room and they wanted to expand. So um, they're living here in the out great outdoors for the time being. Um, once the pigs are done and the rain season comes, they will be moving into the well, the cow said it will be a pigsty as it is. Here it's being prepared for the rice seed growing season. And here is the vegetable field, no longer with vegetables. It's been ploughed up, everything's finished, tomatoes, pumpkins, beans, zucchini, uh, 
coriander deal all that sort of thing but all finished now so that was plowed a couple of days ago um, in readiness they do say that the rainy season will come early this year so we shall see what happens it's very hot at the minute uh, very hot it's just a couple of days before Songkran the Thai New Year which is always a very hot time of the year so there you go that's about the state of affairs uh, here on the farm um, obviously there's a lot more things growing in in in, in the farm here are the tomatoes just about done here as well now and um, we're still eating some of these and we still feed them to the pigs so they've been great uh, Joe works very hard with them uh, obviously the most of the plants died off now once the uh, the storm came a couple of weeks ago, but there's, there's still plenty of fruit to eat. And as I say, fruit that the uh, the pigs will eat as well. So nothing goes to waste. Uh, here we have papayas, more papayas, more papayas. And there you have it. So that is how it looks. Yeah, that is how it looks on the farm at the minute. Um, just a quick update. Not exactly uh, all that exciting, but I um, thought I'd just give you a quick look round as I um, hadn't filmed a lot this week. We haven't been anywhere actually. And while the COVID situation is like it is, and it's probably likely to get worse actually after Sankara, we will probably be avoiding going too many places um, where there's a lot of people so uh, anyway that's it thanks a lot for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this little look around the farm again um, as I say not a lot going on but um, but apart from that that's about it so thanks a lot for watching as I say please give us a thumbs up share this video with your friends and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe I'm inching my way up slowly but once again thanks a lot for watching have a good week. See you again soon. Bye for now.